Carousels are a really easy and effective way to display content. Here's how to create one in After Effects. So in this project, I have four different movie posters, which I've put into four separate compositions. And then I have a master composition, which I've just named Carousel. So let's drag our four movie posters in. And obviously you can use anything you want as your carousel items. Let's scale them down and center them in the composition by using the align panel. Next, we're going to make them all 3D layers by checking this 3D checkbox. And for now, let's just hide three of these posters so we just have the one. I actually want to come to this drop down here and select four views. And this will show us the four different angles. I think I want our animation to be four seconds long. So I'm going to put my playhead at four seconds, press N and then right click trim comp to work area. And now our whole composition is four seconds long. Now with poster one selected, let's press P to bring up the position property. Let's come to zero seconds, click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Now let's come to one seconds. And now we're going to use these four views to position the object. So we want our carousel to move around in a circle. So we want to first move it a bit to the right and also back in the Z direction. About the same distance as we moved it to the right. Next, let's come to two seconds on the timeline. And let's do a similar thing. Let's move it back in the Z direction and let's move it back to the left. And we want it to be at the same X coordinate as our starting position. So let's just grab this 960 and let's paste that in so it matches exactly. Now let's come to three seconds and we want to be at the same Z position as our second position. Let's come to one seconds, copy and paste the Z position, which is 320 and paste it in. And let's drag the X position to the left. And for our final keyframe, we're just going to copy our first keyframe and paste it. Now from the top, it's kind of moving in a diamond shape, whereas we want it to be moving in a circle. So we're gonna come up to the pen tool hold it and select the Convert Vertex tool. This is going to allow us to curve the path into more of a circle. So we're just gonna drag on these handles until it looks like more of a circle, something like that. Plugins are a powerful way to improve your productivity and open up more creative possibilities. That's why I've partnered with many plugin creators to bring you discounts on your favorite tools. For example, Overlord allows you to move layers back and forth between After Effects and Illustrator in a single click. Boombox is a complete sound design toolkit and audio library for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Motion 4 is the ultimate animation toolkit, allowing you to manage color swatches, group layers, ease keyframes, and over 40 other tools. I use it pretty much every day. And AE Juice has simply a crazy amount of resources, such as animated textures, presets, templates, and transitions. Check the description for discounts on these plugins. You'd also be helping to support the channel so I can continue to bring you helpful animation and design tutorials. Now back to the video. Next, we are going to come back to one view and let's copy these keyframes for poster one and let's make the other posters visible again. And for poster two, let's paste the keyframes in. Now let's drag poster two back by one second and let's just disable three and four again. So we've just got the first two visible. It's getting there, but after three seconds, it disappears. So what we need to do is first of all, drag this out, copy our first keyframe and paste it at the end. And now we have both of these moving correctly. Let's do the same for poster three, copy the keyframes from poster two, paste them. Let's make poster three visible and drag this back again by another second. Let's do the same as we did for the previous one where we copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. Now we have three working correctly and let's do the same for poster four. Now we have our four carousel items moving correctly. Now in terms of the easing, I want each item to slow down as it reaches the front. For now, I'm just gonna use the default easing. So I'm just gonna highlight all the keyframes and press F9. And if we watch this again, this is looking much better. You could go in here and tweak the easing, but I actually quite like it as it is. Let's change the background color so it's a bit more visible. Some other improvements we could make is to add some motion blur, maybe add some drop shadows to each of the carousel items. If you wanted to speed up or slow down the carousel, simply highlight all the keyframes drag your playhead to the first keyframe, hold Alt, and then drag the final keyframe either forwards or backwards. So we could speed it up like this, or we could slow it down the same way. 
One last trick we can use is to add some depth blur. So if we add a camera layer by coming to layer, new, camera, I'm going to leave this at the defaults and press OK. Make sure your renderer is set to classic 3D. Now if we twirl down our camera and come to the camera options, if we make sure depth of field is on, and then we increase the aperture, you'll notice that the items further back will become blurred. This is because if we come to two views, this is where our front item is, and it's exactly where the focus distance is. So if I increase the focus distance, you'll see that the front item will become blurred and the background items will become clear. I'm going to lower the aperture to make the depth blur a little bit more subtle. I hope you enjoyed the video. The project files for this lesson will be available on my Patreon. See you in the next one.